Last year, I made a video about this ecosystem. I was thrilled by the variety of protozoans in it. And then, because of my mistake, the jar got contaminated with very aggressive filamentous algae. It covered the bottom of the ecosystem and didn't let anything live there. Whenever I take a sample from the bottom of the jar, I see nothing but debris. It is a different case when I take a sample from the top of the jar. The filamentous algae cannot reach there. It's too heavy. Let's make a slide and take a look. The ecosystem contains different kind of diatoms. These breeding machines are the pioneers of quantum computers. They have molecules that can absorb light and produce sugar and oxygen through photosynthesis. Without them, life in this jar has little to no chance to survival. Something is walking between the rocks. It is a female torrent mite. The hard shell protects her from the predators. Her hairy legs work as an antenna. She can sense her surroundings all the time. But hairy legs come with a price. Everything sticks to them. If there is only one thing more complicated than walking with a giant air bubble stuck between your legs, it is walking while a shell of a crustacean and two bubbles are stuck between your legs. Pond life problems. And Aelosoma, the most common worm in any fresh water. They only do two things, eat anything rotten and poop. Now you know everything about them. I often show rotifers in my videos from various water samples. Each rotifer community has a distinct type of movement. Some move like an inchworm. Some prefer to swim like a fish. Yet again, the rotifers from this ecosystem have a different walk. It carefully stretches, then pulls the rest of the body when there is enough space. If there is an obstacle, it diverts immediately. Here we are looking at a hypotrick. It is a ciliate. I think this is a paramecium, but I hope I'm wrong. To me, paramecium's are cute protozoans that eat banana peels and rotten leaves that I've cultured at school. This is the first time I'm seeing one in the wild. Here, one of them is stuck between slides. This thing is huge. I'm going to finish this video with a group of algae. I think they are the most important species we observe today because they produce something we humans and the rest of the animal kingdom consume. Oxygen. They have a tremendous role in keeping every living being alive. Instead of frowning about daily chores, they run like happy dogs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Bite Size Stories out.